Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be installing a new jack shaft on this go-kart. We recently picked it up for 400 bucks on Craigslist and I think it was a pretty good deal. Our other go-karts don't have any jack shaft but this one will. We successfully installed a jack shaft on the small little ATV. So let's get to work on this one. got the start converter on eBay for 65 bucks and I'm only going to use the driven pulley and the driver pulley and I'll save the rest for later. And here's what's going to go on the go-kart, the driven pulley, the driver pulley and the jack shaft with sprocket. As long as my pulleys are aligned, there should be no issues with the belt. This ugly bracket is going to secure the engine mount to the frame. Fifty-three two-three sprocket is made for number thirty-five chain, and front sprocket is chrome too. This carbon fiber seat feels pretty comfortable. Engine was raised high enough so it would clear the side pods. I've covered up my torque converter with this little belt guard. I've jerry-rigged my kill switch on the steering wheel. Everything else on this cart looks pretty stock. Tires hold air and the brakes work excellent. Do you guys know if this chassis is track magic or is just a steering wheel? Please comment below. Well kids, we successfully converted this go-kart into a lawnmower. So let's test it and see if it runs.
please check out our next video where we put these plastic PVC sleeves on and we do some drifting.